how to become a real estate agent. Did you know that being a real estate agent is one of the best careers? I am a real estate millionaire, entrepreneur, mentor, speaker, author, mom of five, but I am also a licensed real estate broker and have been a licensed real estate agent since 2006. I literally have had my real estate license in four different states. So I wanna share with you all the secrets on exactly how you become a real estate agent and more importantly, how to make lots of money in the process. Let's go. Noel. Yeah, she can fix that. If you gotta get it done, no, you need to do it better. Well, she can fix that. Yeah, she can fix that. Investment to get back, trying to get a big stack. She can fix that. Let's fix that. Being a real estate agent is an amazing career. You often see people have this as like their backup plan. And I've also seen so many people joke about real estate agent is something that you could do if you don't know what to do. But that is simply not true. Real estate agents on average make about 50 to $60,000 per year. And I have met many real estate agents that make millions of dollars per year. The reason that you can make lots of money as a real estate agent is because in many cases, if you sell an expensive house, you get a 3% commission. In most cases, a seller who is looking to sell their home will call a real estate broker who is the owner of the company and they will have an agent list that home for them and the seller will pay 6%. Again, this is generally speaking. These commissions are completely negotiable and there's also been a big lawsuit from the National Association of realtors where they settled for billions of dollars to let everyone know that commissions can be negotiable. But don't worry about that because the system is still intact and you can still make a lot of money as a real estate agent. So let me continue. Like I said, the seller will usually pay 6% and that 6% commission is split between the seller's agent and the buyer's agent. So the seller's agent will list the home, put in an MLS, multiple listing services, tell everyone that this home is for sale, do open houses and things of that nature. Well, did you know that the buyer's agent, the person that brings the different buyers to come see the homes, they will also get 3%. That is usually how the commissions are divided. Sometimes the seller will only pay 5% and then the buyer and the seller's agent will split that 2.5% each or whatever the negotiated um, price is. But let's just think about that. On a home that costs $300,000, that is $18,000, 6%, okay? And that would be $9,000 to the buyer side and $9,000 to the seller side. Just think about that, for example. If you are a real estate agent and you sold one $300,000 house, you could expect a full commission of $9,000. Now, of course, you would split that money with your broker, but in many cases, brokers don't split that fee. There are brokers that you get 100% of your commission, you just pay a fee, I'll explain that later, and you would get that whole $9,000. So just think about it, if you just sold one house per month, a $300,000 house, 3%, and you got $9,000 every single month, could you live off that? Well, even if you sold one house every other month and you talked, and that was you know averaging $4,500 a month, that is a great thing. And so real estate agent is an amazing career and it's a great part-time job or part-time side hustle or whatever you wanna call it. But when you do it full-time and you sell more expensive homes, you can make millions of dollars. Literally, if you sell a house that costs a million dollars, you guys are splitting $60,000, okay? So imagine you can get $30,000 for selling just one house. This is incredible. Let me explain how you become a real estate agent. In order to become a real estate agent, you are going to have to follow your state's licensing procedures. Every single state has its own procedures. Like I said earlier in this video, I have been licensed in several states and every single state had its own requirements and very few states have what we call reciprocity, meaning if I have a license in this state, it works in that state. And even if the, a state has reciprocity, you still have to take certain tests and things like that. I'll get into that a little bit later. Let's just talk about how to do it in the state that you're in. Because if you are a real estate agent, you want to get licensed in the state that you're in. If you're in Georgia, you'll get licensed in Georgia. If in California, et cetera, et cetera. So in order to become a real estate agent in almost every single state, here are the requirements. 
Almost every single state requires that you have a high school diploma or an equivalent of it. So you do have to have some education. They're not saying that you have to have a college degree or a master's degree or a PhD or anything like that, but you do have to have the basic high school education. So whether you finish high school, you have that high school diploma, or you have to get that GED, this is a requirement before you can even get the pre-licensing, okay? They want to make sure that you have this. So if you don't have your high school diploma, you don't have a GED, in most cases you're probably not going to be able to get a real estate license but again most people in America have finished high school or have that equivalent so let's keep going the second thing that you are going to have to do is take the pre licensure class so again before you actually get your license you have to do education you have to take a class in some states it is 42 hours in some states it's 63 hours in some states it's 105 hours literally every Every single state has its own number of hours for the class. Now, in almost every single state, you can do these to classes online. Of course, in this day and age, almost the, the most, most people, the majority of people, again, I don't know exactly what percentage, but most people actually do it online. I literally have done it online. In fact, I've only taken my real estate license in class that first time in 2006. Ever since that 2012 and 2015 and all these other years, I did the class online and it was cheaper. Okay, so if you go to class, it actually usually costs you a little bit more. However, getting the education is very inexpensive. In most cases, it's less than $1,000. I've even seen it in some states where it's less than $400. Literally, the class is not very expensive. And additionally, it's not very hard. Like I said, because you can do it online, you can log in whenever you want to. It's self-paced. There's no one checking to make sure you logged in. You can finish it at your own pace. But in most cases, you do have to finish that class within one year of starting. Some states allow you two years of starting or two years of starting that you have to finish the class. So again, you can take your time, but not too much time. But most of us, when we sign up for the class, we want to do it quickly. And so I have seen people complete their entire pre-licensed class in a week. Literally, I have been able to complete mine in less than two weeks in the state of Florida. All right, so this is not difficult stuff. Once you finish the entire pre-licensed class, you will have to pass the exam. Every single real estate class will have an exam at the end. They wanna make sure that you are able to understand and comprehend all of the information that was in the class. Now, this exam is not very difficult. For most cases, this is not the part that people struggle with when they are getting their real estate license. Most people are able to easily complete the class and easily pass the class exam, okay? Because again, it's just a review of everything that was in the class. No, it is not open book, but again, it's self-paced. You did it yourself, you can pass it. This is not very difficult. So most people do pass the class and the exam and again, mostly most of the time in a matter of weeks, not years. Once you have passed the class, now it is time to take the state exam. And this is how you actually get your real estate license so that you can be a real estate agent. However, ah, there's one big piece that is missing and I get this question all the time. You actually have to pass a background check. In every single state, because you are dealing with the public and this is a professional license, again, real estate agents, I know they joke about it's some easy thing that people can do when they don't have, they don't know what to do. They do actually still have to take an exam. You are still working with the public. It is a public license. So every single state requires that you pass a background. You are going to have to submit your fingerprints to the state before you can actually take the state exam. This process sometimes takes a few weeks, sometimes it takes months depending on the state and how many people have applied for a real estate license. And this is where some people that have a criminal background, maybe you have a felony or something like that, this is where you can run into some issues. And again, I've actually made an entire video, if you have a felony, how you can still get your real estate license. I will put a link to that video because the process is a little bit different because again, after you have finished this class and you go to do this background check and you submit your fingerprints, if you have a felony, in most cases, they will deny you the opportunity to even take the state exam. 
okay? Once you have passed the background check, they will send you approval to sit for the state exam. The state exam in most cases is done via your home and you are what called with what is called a proctor, meaning you will log into a system. There's this remote person that's watching you while you take the exam, making sure you're not opening up your books, make sure you're not cheating, make sure someone's not telling you the answer, or you can take the test in a facility, literally a exam, a, an approved place that they tell you you could go to, you drive to it, you put your cell phone away, you lock that up, you they check you, pat you down, make sure you didn't bring anything in the room, and then you could take the exam like that. I have taken the state exams both in person at an approved facility and I've even taken it proctored over my computer. I prefer doing it in my home and my computer. And this is the part where it trips most people up when they were coming a real estate agent. So let me share this part with you. The state exam is not easy, okay? Now this is someone, okay? This is literally a person with two master's degrees. I have a master's degree from Penn State and Baylor and I'm telling you in all honesty, you will need to study for the real estate exam. This is not some easy test that you just walk in and breeze through. And again, every single state is different. I've taken the test in Texas. I've taken it in Georgia. I've taken it in Florida. I've taken it in Virginia. I've taken it in different states and I've even seen different exams in many different states because of my students. And I can tell you unequivocally, it is a test that you need to study for. In many cases, it's a lot of information. It's hundreds of questions. Sometimes it's 120 questions. Sometimes it's 180 questions. And usually it takes about two hours to do the state exam. However, you can pass it and in most cases you only need a 70 or a 75 in order to get your license. So you don't have to ace this exam, you don't have to get every single question right, but you do have to answer these questions and get them correct. So in many cases, you need to study the material from your class to make sure that you really understand it and you memorize some of the important things because inevitably it will be on the test. Now that you've passed the test, let's get to the fun part of actually becoming an agent and making lots of money because this is the fun part. Once you pass the state exam, you are gonna get this big congratulations and in many cases if you take the test on the computer they will tell you right then and there congratulations you pass and so that's amazing I've also failed the test before my own self and I know many people have as well and you will get unfortunately you did not pass so again you know that's the case and you can take the test again in many cases in most states you can take the test unlimited times in a certain time period for example in Florida you can take the test over and over again up to two years um, after you have um, finished real estate school. So every state is different, but just know if you don't pass it on the first time, that's okay. In most cases, if you pass it, they tell you right there on the spot. And now it is time to be a real estate agent. You will literally go find a broker. Literally as a real estate agent, you have to work for a broker, okay? In every single state, you are not allowed to just be some lone wolf and start your own company because you just got your license. You need to work under a broker. This broker will also have you sign up with a local board. You will have to pay these fees, but guess what? As soon as you are signed up, you are free to work with the people, you are free to go get clients, and you are free to start making money. I literally have met students that have been able to finish real estate school and within 30 days they had a check in their hand meaning they knew friends family they told people at their job they told people at their church they told people at their gym hey I'm a real estate agent they started passing out cards they started showing people houses and they closed a deal in 30 days just imagine you can close one house $300,000 house, get $9,000 in your pocket in less than 30 days. This is possible. This is what being a real estate agent is all about. And as you grow, you can sell bigger houses. You can sell more expensive houses. You can even start selling businesses, land, mobile homes, hotels. Literally, you can even get into commercial real estate and start selling commercial real estate. Having a real estate license opens up so many doors for you and you can sell all different types of real estate with one real estate license. It is amazing and it is a very lucrative career. Let me share one last thing with you. Go to Noelle's free book and get my book, Real Estate Millionaire Secrets, today. That's noellesfreebook.com. I have wrote this book and it is a bestseller because I poured my heart into sharing all of the secrets that made me a multi-millionaire in real estate. Literally, I started from my parents' basement, broke, bankrupt with bad credit, and today I am a multi-millionaire and I share all of those secrets in Real Estate Millionaire Secrets. You do not have to be a real estate agent to make lots of money, but if you are a real estate agent, you are a real estate investor, you're a real estate entrepreneur, you can make lots of money flipping houses, wholesaling houses, buying rental properties, and so much more. 
This book is absolutely free. Supplies are limited. Go right now and get your book. That's noellesfreebook.com. Again, Noel, N-O-E-L-L-E with an S, free, F-R-E-E, book, B-O-O-K.com. Noellesfreebook.com. Go right now and get this book. We will ship it to you immediately, but supplies are limited. I just want to make sure that you have all of the resources, all of the tools, and all of the knowledge that you need to be successful. This is Noel to your success.